All right, Super X here, and today we're going to do a little segment on wicking with Kojendo Japanese organic cotton. This is the stuff right here. As you can see, it um, comes in a pad. It's on um, the perfect thickness to be split in half and cut into wick strips. Also notice the little cotton seeds in it. That's um, pretty natural stuff right there. So at, at least it says so on the box. I like it because there's zero cotton flavor. If you get any cotton flavor, it's because you put in too thick of a wick. So what we're going to do is um, first we're going to separate this pad in about in half. We're going to try and take it right about in half. So we're just going to grab a little, little here, a little there, and roughly try and pull it in half. We're going to put this other piece in a Ziploc keep the cotton fresh. I also keep the bulk of the box that I'm not using in another big Ziploc and just keep out what I'm using. And this pad's going to last a whole long time. So what I'm going to do now is I've got this little coil here. I want to basically match the width plus just a hair. The, wick, the width of the wick plus just a hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice off a little strip of it. About that big. Snip it off. That's quite a bit thicker than my coil, so from here I'm just going to pull a little bit more off. That won't, probably won't be needed. So there's there's the piece I'm going to end up with. I got a moist bounty over here on the side. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to twist this dense at all. I'm just going to twist it and press it a little tiny bit. This cotton doesn't want to be run dense. But I want it to be cylindrical because I've got a cylindrical coil. So in that case, I'm just twisting it. So it's cylindrical. That's it, not putting any pressure. And then on one end, I'm going to make a little point. Again, we're just going to take it and twist it until it's pointy. That's the end we're going to stick through the coil. Okay, and then twist, snip off this little tiny piece that won't go through probably. And then we're just going to stick it into the coil. And there it is. Now you'll notice when I'm pulling this through that it's going in there easy. It's not binding up. If it does bind up a little bit, you probably got too much. But as you can see, that went in without any any kind of just the perfect amount of resistance. Not a lot of resistance at all, but not so loose that it's just flopping right through there too. Now we're going to trim this so it's a nice short wick. Not a lot coming out of it at all. It's just about like that, right? So now we're going to zoom in on the um, on the coil deal. If I can pull this off, we're going to do a little squonking on it, and you're going to watch it how it comes up and works. This being a cyclone, a modified cyclone, as you can see that it just grabs the the juice. It's already soaking wet and ready to go. And that's pretty much it. Wicking with Cogendo, the simplest thing that you could probably wick with. Kojendo Japanese Organic Cotton. I got mine from Sephora.com and it um, it's all I use anymore. It kicks some serious ass. Like pretty much every product I have. If you notice I just have a bunch of kick ass products because that's, that's all I'll settle for. I don't mess around too much. This is on a VV Grand. That's turned down to a relatively low voltage. I could turn it up and scorch that thing if I was so inclined but um, I don't vapor really at that high of a level I keep it down relatively low that's why that coil is so large in there too look at the way that cyclone with the hole down at the deck drains pretty good huh alright y'all thought I'd just take you through my Cogendo technique see ya